How is it going ladies and gentlemen? I am the Amish Thief and I thought with Jurassic World Evolution approaching, I thought it important to let you guys know what you'll be getting with the deluxe version of the game. It looks like it'll have a retail price of about $64.99 on console and $59.99 on Steam for PC. This is only $5 more than the base version of the game, which I already think is a great price to begin with because there aren't many deluxe versions out there of games that are only five dollars more so right off the bat I'm gonna say I think it's worth it just for the price alone and so what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna just go ahead and give you an overview of the five dinosaurs that you'll be getting with the deluxe version of the game I just want to do this to give you guys an idea of what you're going to be spending your money on so you can decide if those extra dinosaurs will be worth it or not for you the Styracosaurus is probably one of the coolest dinosaurs that I think is in this as far as herbivores go because it has probably one of the most distinctive skull patterns of any of the horned dinosaurs. From what I have found it has usually around four to six horns that are located on the frill which is that upwards part of its head. It also has one horn on its nose which is very similar to the Triceratops. If you are a fan of the Triceratops, I do recommend getting this creature as its horn display is very beautiful and would go along nicely with other Triceratops and Ceratopsian species within your park. These dinosaurs, when in herds, are essentially immune to predation. So while in Jurassic World Evolution, I would recommend having around 10 of these together if you decide to have an open park. The next dinosaur on the list is the Crichtonsaurus, which is another herbivore. The Crichtonsaurus is most closely related to the Ankylosaurus, but much smaller. These dinosaurs will most likely herd well with other Ankylosaurs, so consider keeping these dinosaurs together when you create your park. Interesting enough, Crichtonsaurus was named after the famous writer Michael Crichton, who actually wrote the first two books, Jurassic Park and Jurassic Park The Lost World. So if you would like a dinosaur that is named after the creator of all of Jurassic Park, then this would be the dinosaur for you. Up next is the creepiest dinosaur, personally, of the set of five, which is the Majungasaurus. What makes this carnivore creepier than most is that it fed off of its own, so trying to raise the Majungasaurus with others would not be the best idea. An interesting fact is that the Indominus Rex from the movie Jurassic World had Majungasaurus DNA within it, which is probably why it ate its sibling as stated earlier in the film. When sized up with other large predators like the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Majungasaurus is much smaller, having shorter legs and giving it a stockier profile. The Majungasaurus was actually founded in Madagascar and it got its name from being discovered in the Mahajanga province. But don't let this dinosaur's creepy mannerisms and intimidation fool you. It is also one of the most awkward looking dinosaurs, with arms even smaller than that of the T-Rex. I'll try to pronounce this as best I can, but the next up on the list is the Archaeor Nithomimus. Founded in Mongolia and Uzbekistan, Archaeor Nithomimus is a long-legged dinosaur that is very speedy. As of 2011, a complete skull for this dinosaur has not been found yet, so there is still a major question of whether it ate berries or bug life. Besides saying the name, everything about the Archaeonithomimus is fast. It is a very small and sleek dinosaur, and I believe that it would work well in any environment. The last dinosaur on the list, and another one of my favorites, is the Suchomimus. This dinosaur represents the Spinosaur species, and it'll surely be a scary addition to your park. I don't imagine this will happen in game, but this dinosaur usually lived near areas with water because its diet was mostly fish. So if you would like accuracy when placing this dinosaur in your park, you may want to make its biome represent a swamp. Suchomimus was located within Africa in 1997. This dinosaur is actually most closely related to a baryonyx. So if you were to place it in a park with another dinosaur besides its own, which I probably would not recommend, I would give Baryonyx a try first. And if that is not in the game, of course a Spinosaurus would be worth a try as well. Once you receive the deluxe version of the game, all five of these dinosaurs will be located in the dig site feature within the game. 
I imagine this to be a time-based search, meaning that you will probably select a region in the world to search at via a dig site, and after that, given a certain period of time, you will discover a fossil. And that concludes what you'll find with the deluxe version of Jurassic World Evolution. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you plan on getting, and if not, what is your favorite dinosaur of these five described today? Go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to stay up to date with me on more Jurassic World Evolution content.